Let's do it. It would appear to the astute observer, or the person just listening to me talk, that... Whoa! <laughs> eh, sure, why not? I'll, I'll stay down here. That this is all drained out, and the sides are all up, and it's all drained out. And you know what that means. It means it's time for bed. Well, sky means it's time for bed. I think it's time to do this thing. And I've taken the time to get a, a design going that I really like. It got a little strange. I'll uh, get toward the edges because water doesn't actually flow as far as some of the shelves reach. But we'll get to that. We'll talk about that later. I do want to mention one other thing. And I feel it's appropriate, seeing that we're at the bottom of a really deep hole, to talk about my channel's history. <laughs> It's been, I, th I think it was, it was definitely late April. I think it might have been the 28th. If not, then I'm wrong. But that's when I decided to start this series. So yes, that means that it is a year old. Started at the top, now we, wait. Started at the bottom, now we're slightly less bottom. And for any of you historians out there, uh, I was at 12 subscribers back then, and now I'm at 82. So that's, there's that. I think more importantly though, I've gotten a lot better as far as my vocal delivery and I think I'm finding my style slowly. Or at least by that I mean the way I like to do things to have fun while doing them. I've definitely found better ways to edit and I'm happy in general with the, with the series. So to commemorate it, I thought that I'd do what some other people do and uh, throw together a little uh, montage just to, just to celebrate. All right, we're going to start mining now. What are you doing? I'm playing a video game. What? I said I'm playing a video game! Wow, I hope you enjoyed that historical re retrospective. So now that we're done reminiscing about the past, let's get on to the future. I'm going to lay down some stuff here, and hopefully we'll pick it up in just a little bit. I'll have more to say. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Right, so yeah, we should definitely talk about this. This is the original ring out here, and I've kind of measured out a pretty good interval, I feel. I feel like this is a good interval. Let's see if I can get up here. For these rings they're all circles I felt like this was a good shape and that's the shape of the funnel down there I left this open for documentation purposes so first let's talk about plots.org <laughs> uk dot something I'll link it in the description I always mention this site because this site is always mentionable because it's amazing it has circle templates, and it even has donut-shaped templates, which is where this came from, this part. Uh, toward the top, I kind of had to figure out my own thing, because donuts don't just turn into funnels that stretch sideways forever. At least not the kind that I've eaten. But serious talk time now. I'm going uh, to give dimensions of things so that I can say that I gave them. So nothing's a mystery. And we'll start with here. This is a 92 diameter ring here. But since we put the sand on the outside, it becomes a 94 diameter, which is where I guess I'm marking as the first ring. Each of these rings drops down one, which makes it kind of annoying to build. But, you know, it's, it's a thing that you got to do, I guess. So I'm just going to say the next ring... 38 away from the middle and we got a 62 diameter uh, 52 I'm reading my notes right now uh, 44 38 34 30 and I stopped documenting here because it gets to the crazy funnel time which I'll I'll, I'll jump to next Crazy Funnel Time is brought to you by the dimensions 92 diameter, 41 thick, 
and I don't really know what precision means, so I just left it at five. That's for the Taurus template on the Plots website. And at a certain point, I just went with those dimensions because it made a lovely funnel. And it was fun. Oh. So I've convenient. Okay. I, oh, what, oh, wait. Well, hold on. All right. Let's get my words straight. I've conveniently left a quarter of this not here. I believe. Nope. Oh, I left this one out. This should have been left out too, but oh well. This is a circle at 28 diameter circle is the next one here. And then it goes into this. So my only job for this is to duplicate what's going this way from the very middle here. And I'll probably build this in some sort of fast forwardy thing. Starting now. Alright, there, hopefully you should have it. So, we stake, stake a step, stack, we can see, stairs to stun all. I might already think, hey, that looks pretty cool. But, I, just, there's, there's more we need to do. There, there's, there's more, much, much more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to work on some things, and I'm going to cut back when I have more to talk about. Hey, everyone. I've got more stuff to talk about. I've got more stuff to talk about. <laughs> so as you may have thought, as I was doing this whole thing, you might have thought, wow, that mountain is really close to this, and it's actually a part of it here. And yeah, I noticed that too. I also saw that the whirlpool is basically right next to the mountain. Both of those things don't make any sense at all. So, what I did is I added another ring. Because why not? Just rings all over the place. Basically what I did is I added eight to this. I went in this way that much. Because I figure if the cliff starts here, along this arc, that gives enough room for water here that's not a part of the whirlpool. Now the only thing that that means is a couple things. Is, is that this has to be dug 
naturally to meet up with the bottom. So that's half. That's one half of it. The other half is everything else that goes on top. This is starting to look really unstable. In fact, if we jump over here, it's starting to actually look like another word that has an S in it and a T. It's starting to look stupid. <laughs> and we don't want, we don't want stupid. I mean, we want stupid sometimes. But this isn't the type of stupid I want. So that means that this mountain's gonna have a lot of work in its future. It's gonna be very employable. Or it's gonna have a lot of work done to it. So it's gonna be, people are gonna be employed because of it. That's what I meant to say. All right, are we done talking? No, we're not done talking. There's more to talk about. This, I, let's jump down. You can see I moved the beacon from its pedestal and the sky base over here because digging, lots and lots of digging needs to happen. I already hooked it up with haste too. Used it for digging out that, but also very importantly for digging out this. So I have to be careful because that is bedrock. I don't think it's enough to kill me, so I can laugh in the face of danger for now. Oh, okay. But this is another good chance to look at the surroundings and try to see what I'm envisioning here. The whirlpool should have been carving away at the mountain, so there shouldn't be like this, for instance. This wouldn't make sense to have this. So this all needs to go. So in summary, funnel built depths plunged and a really big part of this is just making the landscape fit what's going on here so once again i'm gonna get to it do some work do worky work
right, so you come out of the portal, and you see this. So we got a bit of a carved out section, and I think that's on its way. One critique I have in particular is that this is a little bit too wide on the sides, and I think that this can actually be extended to be like more out here, which actually be really cool. Because then you could actually peer into uh, this this thing. Yeah, you can see more from here. I'd, I'd rather have this be kind of curved in and then like tapering to kind of a, not really a point, but like just a, a slightly narrower thing. Because this is, this is a bit tunnel-y right now. But also I'm not really too worried because this is going to be not seen very often. Uh, which leads me to talking about the next part, which is going to be the under an underwater part. This is not part of the funnel as I said before. So what I'm going to do is dig down a little bit just along the sides, maybe three or four. That's probably going to be deep enough that the plunge will be be able to start curving back in. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. And as we come back, we get a little bit of an idea of what I'm going for. Just a little bit though. I don't want too much of an idea. Uh, to bring this down and start pushing it that way is going to happen around here. But I had like the first three just go straight down indiscriminately. And then I started leaving little shelves. And then I'll eventually do what I did with the top. So what I'm going to probably do is the opposite. Like this was straight down, so I'm probably going to make it that the angle. Just right into the center of those. And kind of walk along, shifting, while clicking. I could be at this angle instead. And you can kind of do some of this to uh, break up any monotony or patterns that form. Then you can just take this straight sideways and it starts to look like one of these shelves. So that's pretty much my tactics. Unfortunately, we are out of time. I do think a lot of, a, a, a lot, I do think a lot. <laughs> You can't tell from my, my sentences sometimes, but I do think a lot. But I also think a lot about... Wait, what am I talking about? I think a lot was accomplished in this episode. It's not exactly the best spot to end it, because I'm not looking at very much of it. We didn't finish today, but I want to finish next time. If I don't finish next time, I'll be personally upset, so I don't want to have that. But anyways, this has been Red McNed. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you've been around for the whole year, that's pretty awesome. Um, if not, we'll come on board anyway. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I'll also be upset if this goes anywhere. Other than where it's supposed to be. So there, I think I got all my, my contingencies covered. But anyways, yes, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.